This movie starts around Christmas time, people coming home for Christmas. Is Jumanji the next level a Christmas film? Yes, most definitely. Why? What makes it a Christmas film? It's set during Christmas and it comes Oh my out, god, you're right! Yeah. There are uh, like wintry scenes in the movie. Yeah. It's a Christmas movie. And in some ways it is like a it's a wonderful life. Yep. It's a wonderful life in the game. He's not you're not wrong. Right? You aren't wrong. I'm on to something. There's a media studies essay to be written about this. And yep. I'm gonna write it. Thank you. Do it. All right, here's the more controversial question. <gasps> what is the best Christmas film? Of all time. I'm gonna have to say Jingle All the Way. <gasps> oh my god. She went there. You, I went there just you just love I want to do Schwartz my Arnie impression. <laughs> do it. Let's see your Arnold Schwarzenegger this impression. This is Arnie from Jingle All the Way. <laughs> Specifically from Jingle All the Way. That's my favorite thing in life. Your Arnie impersonation from Jingle All the Way. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> he just sounds like he's retching. He's, he's getting ready to, for that toy? to blow <laughs> chunks. It's so funny. I love it. Uh, but obviously the correct answer is Elf. Elf Will is good. Will Ferrell in Elf is just magic. Yeah. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of Christmas movies, but that's my favorite. Do you have a Will Ferrell impression? Not really, no. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm, I could if I had more time. It's hard to top that. I mean, that's the other problem. And where do you go from that type of accuracy? Well, There's quite. nowhere left to go. Bingo. Okay. Here's the final controversial question. If you could only listen to one Christmas song on Christmas Day, <gasps> what would it be? Like over and over again, or just once? Just the one special one you got to hear before the rest of the day kicked off. Tough, right? I'm gonna go, last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. I like, do they know it's Christmas time at all? <laughs> Good answers. Cheers to you girls in the summing sun. Why did I sing more if I didn't know the words? <laughs> it felt right. Cheers to the man who's in now. No, James Gunn. Do they know <laughs> James Gunn. <laughs> because you're going to be in that James Gunn movie. Yeah, Excellent. I liked it. And it rhymed. <laughs> I cannot wait for the official cover to come out. I cannot wait. Okay. It's a movie called Sun Guardian. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. <laughs> you can edit that out. No apologies. Oh, no regrets. I had to force it though because it's Guardians of the Galaxy, but that didn't run. But you mm. went Galaxy Guardian. Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope James sees this. No, Please be watching. Um, we'll make it happen. Uh, I've got to ask you about the really key parts of this film, which is when you die and have to come back and do your kind of. Yeah. So, how many takes does that take? Or you got it down pat by this point? I think I have mine down, but one time I landed and they weren't happy with my position. And it, and, and they were right, because it was like a weird squat. It didn't look good. No, just like, it looked like, I don't want to say. But <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't flattering <laughs> to be in that position. So we changed it. Excellent. You have to work at these things. You do. I mean, obviously you're working with camels as well, and it's not. there's no graceful way of getting off a camel, is there? It's just funny because I know what you're not saying, but yeah. you wanted to say it, <laughs> but did, you better not I, say I it. Because the Sony executives in the wings are like, please. Not again. <laughs> not again. But <laughs> yes. remember when we were doing the reshoot and you were doing the wire work and you were like running up the walls and doing a flip to do oh and landing? God. And, and yeah, that was some tough like that landings. Was, yeah, actually I actually had to do landings. like five of those landings that you're talking about. But you kicked a lot of ass. But yeah, people don't get to see all the times that you no. don't kick ass. Yeah. Those are some of the lot. funniest times. Yeah. <laughs> the audience is robbed of some real awkward gold, comedy. Gold. I do love the bloopers from the first film though. There were some good ones. Oh, there's some real Dude, There were some good bloopers from this one. I couldn't just off the top of my head. I don't think they ever used them, but. Oh. My favorite was when we were in the dune buggy. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about? I don't no. even think you were aware. I like jumped out of the dune buggy and jumped up on top I of was it aware of that. In the hot 130 degree desert. Yeah, I was like, what is he doing? Like a madman. I he felt was like, like I was give in... me one more take. I'm gonna do something, I have an idea. And we were like, oh, he's gonna like do a different line read. And then he climbs out of the car yeah. onto the roof. It was like some Mad Max were shit. Were you even on camera? I don't know, but I was on fire. You Cause were... it was our last day of shooting yeah, and I was just excited. I could see the finish level. line. Yeah. Yeah, you were ready to rock. 
Yeah. yeah. Would you agree with me, speaking of him, that The Rock is obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with jungles? Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. Jumanji 1 and 2. Jungle Cruise. What's, like, what's going on? Yeah, it's like, is how like, many jungles can you be in? Is he, like, kissing the leaves and, like... I have know? to be honest, I was a little jealous when I heard that he was going to go make Jungle Cruise. I was like, oh, what? Dude! Yeah. That's Jungle's our, our thing! Yeah. Dwayne! But, you know, Disney was like, well, we really like that he did, he did Welcome to the Jungle, and we're Disney, and we'd like to do our own Disney Jungle movie. <laughs> this person but only, only with Dwayne. <laughs> None of the rest. No, the rest don't need to be in a jungle movie. Think Emily Blunt. Oh, you would Disney. Be better. <laughs> Go suck it, Mickey. I, Mickey. That's the that's the best Bob Iger impression <laughs> I've ever heard. Oh my god, you can't say that. You're in the Marvel movie. I didn't say that. Jack said I it. I said it. Disney, no. I love you. I Again, love you too. No regrets. Like, I'm getting the signal, but thank you so much. Thank you. That was what's called a delight. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum. <laughs>